Hey guys, welcome back to Hagnet. We're still playing this game, guys. We're still playing it. I My terminal is still backwards. Let's change it. Um, activate. Oh, that's gross. That's worse. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this one. This one's kind of chill. I think this was our first computer before we got it destroyed. All right, let's go get a mission, man. We're getting really close to the top of the heap here at CSEC, so we'll hope that maybe Bit will contact us soon. We got one more. A family member of an executed individual has approached us looking to have their death row record added to the official listings. The sentence apparently had some shady dealings behind it, and they strongly implied that it was unjustly ruled. It seems there's some efforts to mask... Have, oh, seems some efforts to mask it have left off the official record listings. In their words, at least the very least, we'd like his words preserved. Unusually complex requiring family database record manipulation. Test for Unix terminal veterans. Um, I'm not a terminal veteran, but I can rename a file. Like, I don't really know how to do that. So maybe, or current contract. Wait, what? What current contract am I working on? I thought I was done. Like, I thought I was done with that other mission. Um, oh, I didn't. I just got partway through it. Oh, reply the pa with that password in this email. Like, I wasn't even supposed to decrypt it. I was just supposed to... It's beep beep. In case you forgot. Yeah. Alright, critical important. Play your account with permission to accept a critical contract listed in the settings page. According to accepting this contract may either be time consuming or require confidentiality and separation from other projects for a time. It could be undertaken only with the expectation that other contracts and possibly C6 services may be unavailable for you for their its duration. That's scary. I'm now the number one CSEC hacker, which is pretty dope. Alright, um well, let's go get one of those spicy those spicy contracts. Oh, hold on. Let's help an aspiring writer. Aspiring writer wants one uh, wants us to get one of his skips to a producer. Okay. Seems straightforward, I guess. Writer wants to get the draft of their latest work to a producer and has had some trouble getting past secretaries and the like. He wants us just to break in and drop his work at the target scripts to review folder so he gets it looked at. His script, FO of screenplay, and uploaded to cross oh no that's the no that's the bad one that i read earlier uh it's been uploaded to crossroads and he's provided an encrypted script uh that his was way to compete with that we can use to trace oh an encrypted okay um upload his script to the scripts folder on the target's machine okay let's do that um, trace, oh, I can trace the screenplay, that's fine, I know how to do that. Let's go get some, hold on, let's go get my favorite shell. I know I'm just leaving shell records everywhere, but that's fine. Okay. Let's go to the Crossroads server. Do the file system. It's in here somewhere, isn't it? Nope. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not in folder four, you loser. You know, I could just do all the stuff I wanted to to this screenplay without downloading it, but... It's more fun this way, and it's safer to just get off of their system. I talk safer like I've ever been tracked, but, I mean, I to be fair, I did get, like, totally busted a couple of times. Um, so let's run deckhead on T2 and see if we can find where it came from. Get ready on this one. It's 37... 187 27 55 cool 
Um, now, are we gonna need to encrypt his? Because I don't know how to do that. Let's just not, let's not worry about it. 237. 187. 27. 55. Firewall, huh? All right, um, analyze the firewall. Oh good, he's not tracing us, that's awesome. Danger! Uh oh, it's wrong, it's wrong. Too many, because I put a weird comma in there. 22, FTP, 21, 7TP, 25, once we get done with those. Just barely fits, bless you. Um, web server on 80. But we gotta wait for both of those to be done because web server takes a bit. Oh no, we don't. It barely fits. We're down to our last megabyte up there. That's pretty cool though. Port hack, all right. So we need to upload to his bin directory, probably. Or maybe in a weird folder. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. File system. Bin. Home. Scripts. So there's the T21. So let's do load home scripts FOF. Oh no, that's not what I want. Upload space. Oh baby, what are, what is you doing? Um Can we just upload FO? Can we do that? Home. Oh, can we Okay, hold on. Upload FOF. Uh, home. FOF. Okay. Yeah, okay. It goes to whatever folder you're in. That's fine. So that should be good. Close that. Uh, blessed are the people who pay attention in school, I guess. Um, logs. Keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Are you tired of it? I don't know, because I want to be a safe hacker. I practice hacker contraception. Um, get us out of here. Stop. That's cool. That one, I guess, wasn't the super cool one that we were supposed to take. Um. An incredibly delicate situation has come up. Having the involvement of a skilled anonymous outside agent, willing to be responsible for some questionable actions to greatly help an individual in need. Fine. Let's do it. Hacker. This isn't a normal request, and you're not going to treat it as such. We've asked you to perform a euthanization. Obviously, we've sent a few others to dig up data on it, a few from outside groups, so as not to raise suspicion some time ago. Largely speaking, it all came back clear. The man in question, one Elliot Witt, has been hospitalized and in considerable pain against his witches, been denied the option of death. A failed attempt by his family earlier has prevented them from performing subsequent efforts until a member of the opposed the, proposed this option. It seems the pacemaker he is fitted with allows remote access with proper authorization, and they believe this may be an avenue to fulfill this request. Naturally, given the nature of this request, you can accept that you may not want to be involved. Apply with deny in response and we will move you from the project. If you decide to help us with this matter, you should know that it will likely take some amount of investigation and testing, given that as far as we know, nothing has this has never been attempted. I commence starting with the target's medical record, identifying the chip, looking for its manufacturers, and continuing from there. Dude, this is sick. We're gonna, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, it's such a dope hack. Like, part of me is like, okay, we gotta do it because it, we're gonna hack a dude's pacemaker. That's amazing. The other part is that's really sad. And it sucks that he, we're gonna have to kill a man. But the thing is like, he doesn't want to be alive. He's held against his will. And it is his family's wish to put him to bed. Now the problem, is this is we have to we have to check every step of the way 
we might have to deny out of this one because what if Elliot is like a fully healthy dude and we're not gonna just have him drop dead on the street? Like, I refuse to do that. Let's try it though. Let's try it. We'll start, we'll start. Okay. I like the change of music too. That makes me really happy. All right, so we got a proxy. tear through a bunch of these it'd be really cool if i could just analyze can we do like analyze analyze two it's not gonna do it is it is it gonna do it again no okay i was really hoping that it would um and i know that this is medicaid i should have known that all right Yeah, boy. Oh, wait, why can't I ask? Oh, because the proxy is still active. My bad. I was just, like, super excited that I solved the firewall, and I forgot that the proxy is still on. And it's really slow, because I only have one overload to do. But that's okay. I'm all right with it. it. We need the extra RAM. We can't just maintain all those connections. Yeah, boy. Get ready. Here we go. Oh. This one will be fine. It's small enough, but it'll fit there. All right, so we should have enough ports open. We should be able to move into the medical records. And see if we can find this man, Elliot Witt. So what's going on here? Due to recurring critical of the it's been fitted with a pacemaker that allows some fine tuning to unknown variables without invasive surgery. Um, now hold on. He doesn't look like he's dying. Like heart rate regulation. That's it. Like he's 56 years old. He's got no allergies. He, he's got one active prescription, and that's for heart rate medication. Like, this seems really sketch. Pace Baker connection, documentation, and notes. Let's write both of those down. You don't need that anymore. Um, pacemaker is 202-6141. We're going to get in so much trouble for this. Um, then the docs. Are 66, 96, 147, 84. This seems, this screams sketchy to me. This screams sketchy. Like, I'm not super into this. Um, this is bad, man. I just want to, I, I want to do it so bad, though. It's so dope. Let's go read some documentation on this pacemaker. Um, holy crap. All right. Um, okay. Well, we might be able to get in here. fast. I don't know if I'm fast enough, though. I don't think we are. I think we're gonna have to back out. That really bums me out, but that's okay. Disconnect. Prepare. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. 
I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna tr try to, nope, we're going out. Where was my reconnect here? Um, connect to this guy again. Uh, probe. Did those other things stay open or did they close them? Everything's good. We have, we pretty much have everything. Let's just go in, man. Port attack. My type, of, my type 8. Dude, my number one problem with this game is my spelling is terrible. Alright, we're in. Um... I don't have time for IRC logs right now. Data is garbage. Message record. Config. And close the state. Biotechnic you. Um, remote tools. Okay, can I... Okay, micro port. Hold on, hold on, I'm not written reading. Dang it. Oh, I can just do it without getting... Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I was kind of... Garbage. Um, the Kellis Biotech Pacemaker, from here out the Pacemaker, is designed to help patients that are considered a high risk or need constant monitoring or un and, but are unable to remain in hospital. Pacemaker you can be connected to remotely. Um, system is hard locked to only accept binary update packages signed by the, the build server and the chips assigned software designer. Okay. Um, only provided a case specific basis, but the patients might need slightly different settings to account for natural changes in cardiac rhythm. Okay. Um, Kellis's update system makes these changes possible without the need for further intrusive operation, although prior versions of the chip included tools manually updating settings. These have been removed for security concerns. The current version only allows pacemaker behaviors to be changed via a firmware patch, which can be done wirelessly. Okay, well, that's not useful. Um, okay, is that another note? Okay. Um, firmware for the 2.44 chip was written by Edelin Soft. Version control, queries, and updates are handled through their central server. Only builds signed by their internal servers using our key will run the chips. The company can produce the working code for the chips without having them compile it. Okay. So. Now, where's that? Hold on. Where's that other thing? Yeah, here we go. Claiming security to perform a firmware update once the signed binary has been retrieved from the software developers requires several steps. First, connect to the pacemaker chip using the preference reference IP address, which we have. Log in as the administrator using details that will have been assigned on a per case basis. Um, this step is protected using Kellis' proprietary microport protection system on port 6654. I'm going to type that down too, just in the. Get string note is what you type. Okay, I'm gonna do that next time just to see. Port six six five two. Okay. Um. For more update, check on any software. Uh, okay. So I guess our next step is to go to find the people that made this firmware. But first, let's uh, get the hell out of here, shall we? From 111, 105, one. All right, Soft production server. Uh, let's hope that you don't have anybody home. Nah, you do. Of course you do. Whatever, man. I'm feeling feisty. We're gonna kill a dude today. And I know I shouldn't be excited about that, but I am. A 
super delicate hack. A, you might even say a righteous hack. We're gonna get it done. At least their trace is really slow. I can't right now, though. All right. Kellis BT. Oh, can I just take this whole folder? Security notes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just take all of this stuff. Security notes. Goals. Synergistic Cloud Glass Ceiling Breaker. That's dumb. I don't want that. Okay. Let's see what we got. Catalyst Firmware. Uh, I don't know which firmware we need. Wait, 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 wait. Part of our test of a cycle check needs to be performed. Hook it up when we're... What the... Cycle test. Do not upload it anyway. We'll... Okay, hold on. So that might be a kill of the killer right there. I think that's what we need. I'm also gonna take the catalyst driver just in case. Alright, let's get Kata SCP. Oh, that's not even in here. All right, it's in that. Is it in the catalyst? Yeah, it is. Catalyst driver, just in case. But I think the test firmware is what we want. We also want a SCP to test guide. Just on the off chance I want to read it again, which I will once we get to it. Um, let's just take the. Just gonna take everything that I can on the off chance that it's helpful. Um, we know that these firmwares are here. I don't really, let's do S, okay, let's go here. This one, SCP, KBT, Haze Faker Firmware, underscore zero, zero one DL. I don't know what kind of what kind of pacemaker he's running because I didn't check yet. So I'm just gonna download all of them. Um, and I'm an idiot and I didn't wait for all those transfers to be complete. Okay, so that should be good. Should have everything we need from here. Let's get the heck out of here and go back home and try to figure out what what our next steps are. Um, so it said very carefully, do not put that test firmware on a dude. So I'm thinking that might be what we have to do. Um, let's get out of here. Uh, all right, file system. Our home files just are a nightmare. Um, all right, let's look at this. So, okay. Part of our test cycle before running the unit test on a chip is a cycle check that needs to be performed. Hook it up to the test situation, run the cycler as its firmware first. It just cycles through all the valid outputs and times itself to check if it's hitting the timings correctly. More of a hardware test than anything on our end. It's helpful for picking up subtle errors. After it's run, it'll dump its data to the station. You can go ahead and flash it and patch in your new test version. Okay. Um, currently, signed testing firmware named Peacemaker Tech. Do not upload to any deploy ready devices. Obviously, the test cycler, cycler firmware is designed and encoded so it'll actually run on the chips, which means be careful with distributing builds. So you don't include it on one of your output folders. Okay. Um, that's garbage. Garbage. Impossible garbage. All right, so 
Our goals are to progressively maximize cross-unit quality vectors, synergistically benchmark client-centric relationships, distinctly engineer next-generation collaboration and idea sharing, competently plagiarize optimal e-surfaces. Um, I feel my bloodlust rising already. Appropriately monetize process-centric outsourcing. Efficiently supply clicks and mortar methodologies. Seamlessly impact real-time benefits. Yeah, we're gonna kill this dude. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm just, I can't do this. All right. So, hold on. This is good music readings. Our support teams need wildcard access to systems to perform effective maintenance and updates. When on call in the field. To achieve this, we're introducing a new EA admin support to all of our new products. The account will be set up with full privileges and testing functions enabled and will be constant across our range and versions. What this means is it's for support teams is they will have easy means of gaining access to debug and administrate functionality in our test products in the field. And that for our deployment managers, you'll need to remember to add this account to the setup scripts on all outgoing products. Okay. Pacemaker account, CA admin, Oh, it's just E admin. Pee is tens eighty six. It's got all permissions. Okay, so okay, so I'm not really sure what else to do here. I have a new plan. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just connect two two six. And the four one nineteen. Oh, I feel so bad about this. All right, pro. So the medical services port is the only one. So let's log in with a username e admin password tens eighty six. Shoot, did I mess that up? Or oh, it's e. It's e at. Let me try. E admin tens 86 okay so that's not that's not right for this now did I mess that up could we probe it it's just got a one medical services port which doesn't help us at all view logs uh, remote monitor I'm viewing the monitor that's me um yeah okay um so that sucks Disconnect. Um, did I just write that down wrong? Like, am I bad, everybody? Am I super bad? EA admin. EA admin. TNS86. Okay? Tens86. That's, that's the password. So, that's not useful right now um can we okay let's go back to this guy mm, no i don't think where's the okay the people that made it we're at the 66, uh, 66, 96, Case requires an update. Okay. Um, log in as an administrator using the details of assigned per case basis by the client. Okay. Then we have to go back. Um, okay. um, to the medical center thing. Per, per case basis. Where's the darn... Hmm. 
this one. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. Let's go back to. Um, to the pacemaker again. And we can't get into the pacemaker yet, so don't worry about that. Um, then on a case-by-case -case basis, we don't need... We need... find something new there's something that I'm missing here and I'm not quite sure what it is um, I want to kill a man very gently but um, data not useful data not useful Animals will hear. Bella the ear licking penguin is an awesomely endowed midget sucker oozing char. Ooh, what? Put plug his middle leg into. Oops, wrong window. What the fuck? My man, my girlfriend left me for some asshole named Robert. Why? You don't live in Hope Mills, do you? Yeah, man, why? Oh, just wondering, was her name Allison? You motherfucker. Uh, okay, okay. Hi, everybody. Try pressing the caps lock key. Oh, thanks. It's so much easier to write now. Fuck me. Um. um listings. No, that's not right. We need... I know that I can f frag this, but I don't want to frag this. So what I'm trying to do... Um... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. So what we need, what we really badly need, is we need his custom username and password to get into his pacemaker that was assigned on a case-by-case -case basis. I don't know why this says it wasn't, but, like, we might have to go back to... New folder, new folder, new folder. Get out of here. Let's go back to the developer of the firmware, shall we? One 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 hundred and five. One projects. Uh, the Kellis thing. I, this is what I need to deliver for sure. Um, see, that's the problem. Is that's internal. That doesn't really help us for the long run. I'm on our way, heading back from partying a new IC over the weekend. It was like Sunday afternoon. We're headed west. We're cruising, maybe 130, 140 miles per hour. Flew past a trooper on the side of the road. Trooper lights up, sirens blasting, chasing us down the highway. We're both like, should we stop? There's no way he's going to catch up to us. So we decided to be good and stop. Cop catches up to us. Comes out, done, gun drawn, pissed as hell. Walks up to our side of the car and goes, son, can I see your pilot's license? Jason pulls out his pilot's license. Cop's jaw hits the fucking ground. Most stunned face I've ever fucking seen. It's practically a whisper goes, get the fuck out of here. No ticket. Too embarrassed, apparently. I'll never forget that day as long as I live. I was sure we were going to jail. Oh, man. Top again, doghouse. Our hearts extended to 17 victims of recent internet fraud. What fraud? You haven't heard about it? No? You can read the full story at tubgirl.com. Do not go there. OMG. WTF. Tedium changes the topic to our hearts extended to the 18 victims of recent internet fraud. Um, 
Some girl on the street asked if I had, was saved yet. I told her I was saved from the checkpoint a couple minutes back. Can we load from there if I could, if I die? She was confused. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Okay. Another night my friend had some pot and wanted me to smoke it with him. But we had nowhere to smoke it because both of our parents were home. So we drove around looking for a place to park so we could smoke in the car. Eventually we settled on a Wendy's parking lot. Logic is all there. I know. It was a ridiculous idea. We were just desperate and it was the first place to pull off. So we park in the back of the parking lot under this tree, and it's dark out. So we figure we're secluded enough, start to light up, and a cop pulls in. So we just sit really, really still and hope the cop thinks the car is empty, just parked there, and then he won't notice. So the cop circles the parking lot once, then parks behind us, and we're both freaking out. So Bobby, my friend, takes all of the pot and shoves it in the glove compartment, but the car smells like pot, so we figure we're busted. So Bobby takes, says he's got to extract the cop from the pot, and in a huge flash, he rips his shirt off, undoes my pants, and sticks his hand inside. Before I can process what's happening, the cop knocks on my window, then he looks and sees Bobby shirtless and his hand down my pants and turns bright red. I roll down my window, and the cop says in his really flustered voice, his face bright red, you guys be good now, and walks quietly back to his car and drives off. He didn't even notice the smell of pot. We drove home in the most uncomfortable silence ever. Oh man, that's really funny. Oh man. Hey Mike. What? Pussy. Err? Pussy. And? Pussy. Dot, dot, dot. Pussy. I don't get it. And you never will. Okay, so I'm wasting your guys' time. I'm very sorry. Um, Alright, I think we're going to have to abandon ship for now. I'm going to remove move my logs if you're eating all of those embarrassing jokes. And I'm going to call it quits for tonight. Yeah, log. Alright. Guys, I will see you next time. We will figure this mystery out. I have plenty of ideas. I'm just not quite sure where to find them. So, good luck to you.